Hi guys, we are starting our monthly whatever we're gonna call this because we don't really know yet. Nobody's responded on Facebook. So for today, we're just gonna say, hey, we're gonna pull something out of this really awesome Mickey Mouse bag and whatever it is, we're gonna give you our at least top five things and that's how it's gonna work. By the way, you need to look right there at that, that thing. Even if you look at us, it doesn't matter. They can't tell. Okay, so this is my husband. In case you didn't know, this is my Prince Charming. This is my Jimmy. I call him Henry. You can't do that. That's just me. Okay, you can call him James. You can call him Jimmy. Just don't call him. What are you putting there? I knew you were going to say that. Okay, so he's going to reach into our awesome Mickey Mouse bag that we got at Target for a dollar today. Go ahead. Reach in. Pull something out. And whatever it is, we're going to talk about it. We have 30 things, so for the entire month, you're going to get at least one of us. Okay, so he pulled out underrated everything at Disney. So pretty much whatever you, you think is underrated at Disney. Yeah, or not even at Disney, just Disney in general. Hmm. Like our movie, or like a movie, or a character, hmm. or a ride at any of the parks. So what's the first ride that you can think of? People Mover. The People Mover. Oh, that, that's probably our favorite. One of, One of our favorite rides to do at Magic Kingdom. I was thinking Living with the Land is was awesome. is a really good underrated ride. It's also a very nice air conditioned ride mm -hmm. and a good place to go to get out of the rain. Right? Yeah. Um, what about a movie? An underrated movie? Um, I know, I have a feeling I know which one you would say. What? Probably Atlantis. Yeah, I like that. Because you like Atlantis. I like Steampunk. I think that Enchanted was very underrated. It had beautiful music, loved the storyline. It had Aida Menzel in it before she got extremely famous with Frozen. And she didn't sing at all in that. Yes. Um, but the movie itself was just, I really, really enjoyed that movie. Um, there's a lot of underrated things. At, or uh, just about Disney. What about a character? characters you don't think any of them are underrated or don't that they don't get the popularity that you feel like they deserve not really see i could think of a few because like melody from little mermaid 2 a directed tv to video movie yeah but so, it's still a disney movie true i feel like she could have they could have done more with that and I think that maybe some of the TV shows, there are some underrated characters. Possibly. And like even like older TV shows that were on whenever we were younger. Do you think of anything else? Jimmy's very quiet, so he's only going to talk pretty much un unless I, I mean like when I tell him to talk. Like, talk. I said, I'm not going to make a fire out of me. Oh, Lord. These ones are going to be very short with him unless we get on a subject that we really, really have a passion for. And, go ahead. One of the underrated things we do at the parks is napping. Oh, yes. We nap. We nap a lot um, because there are days whenever it gets hot. Okay. What are our favorite nap time places slash rides? I have rides. the American Adventure, 45 minutes in an air-conditioned theater, in comfortable seats. I can nap there every day. <laughs> and where else do I nap? I nap at Ellen's Energy Adventure. Yes. I nap there. Um, also. At Magic Kingdom, we nap at oh, the Carousel, Carousel of Progress. Progress. <laughs> I have been known to fall asleep during... What's another one at Magic Kingdom that I fall asleep on? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Hollywood Studios. I fell asleep during The Little Mermaid, The Voyage of the Little Mermaid. I've uh -huh. fallen asleep there more than once. You know, it's not very long now. No, but it's just enough to get in like a cat nap, mm -hmm. I feel. Um, a dinosaur at Animal Kingdom. I fell asleep during. 
You fell asleep during that with all the I, dinosaurs jumping out? I, yeah, because I was petrified. Oh. I didn't like it. I didn't so like it. you closed your eyes. I closed my eyes and actually fell asleep. Um, I have fallen asleep during... I think I fell asleep once during the Nemo show. Yeah, yeah, At you Animal did. Kingdom. You did. Um, I fell asleep once during, I want to say the Beauty and the Beast show. Possibly. Because I was very sick. And that I was not a good nap place because it's outside. It's outside, and also there's a lot of people, and those seats are very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I have been, I have fallen asleep at places that we've eaten at, because mm -hmm. there are some days when Heck, you even took a nap at Interventions once. At Epcot, I just that's on one that's, of the adventures. that's exactly it. I love sleeping at Interventions because they have that area with all the little charging, like the little that used to be the go-to charging place well for us because we knew about it um but she's plugging her phone lay her head on my lap and fall asleep that's that's it and a lot of people are like how in the world can you nap at disney we're pass holders it's not like we can't go and enjoy something else another day and plus to me i think a nap time is very important especially because of my thyroid and i just have to make sure that i get some sleep and sometimes a 10 15 minute nap is going to just Get me fired up again. Ew, you stink. Did you puke again? No. Doom Bug doesn't feel good. So, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think napping... is an underrated thing to do. It's it totally... It. But, you know, it's so funny because it's just like... I always feel like if they had a... Like, in Interventions, if they had an area that had like those little like hammock swings just like hanging from the ceiling i would totally pay to take or, like or the japanese sleep tubes yeah like i would totally five bucks i would totally pay to take i would play for an hour nap yeah five bucks yeah <laughs> definitely i would definitely pay to take a nap where you can just go and it turns on like crazy sleepy like nice soothing sleepy time music if you wanted it in a dark room because I've gotten a migraine while we were at Disney one time and I was like I need a dark place and we automatically went to interventions and I just covered me up and I was just like okay and it was there in the winter time so you had your jacket I think probably that sounds like something that would happen <laughs> I'm almost certain that that did so um so that's our thing for today. You know what? I just thought of something because we actually were coming up with these left and rights. It was actually very hard for us to narrow it down to just 30. And actually, even as of this morning, I took one away and changed it to this one, matter of fact, because I took one away <laughs> out of all the ones that you picked out out of the bag. Um, so maybe if there's one day where we only have like a little bit of stuff, maybe we can actually do two. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff. Or that... just talk about more than just what's on the paper. <laughs> you can tell whenever something happens because we're both like, what's going on over there? Um, this might probably be our regular location for this unless it's, I mean, well, he's not going to be in all the videos, right? Probably not. Because like tomorrow I close and you're not going to be here at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to film with you at 11 o'clock at night. Oh, well. <laughs> Because you need to go to bed because you work every day. Mm -hmm. You work every every day during the day. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. So um, if I do one, I'll make sure that I talk a lot. <laughs> Not a lot, but I'll make sure, like, I have a feeling, like, I know which one I want to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, because I don't think you want to talk about boys, do you? Oh, favorite princess? Yeah. Do you want to talk about boys tomorrow? <laughs> I'm just saying, because some of these, I mean, maybe we'll just come up with more and I'll just come up with things that I have a passion for and the rest or of the... Or maybe we'll just film a couple more tonight and Oh, then that's a good idea! Just... That's a great idea, honey! Have extras. That's a good idea! That would be great. That's actually a really good idea. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and we're going to charge my camera. And use my regular camera or just use this one. So there you go. Oh, and hopefully we come up with a name so soon. Oh, look, I'm wearing my Disney bracelet because I put this on. And you can't even tell, but I'm wearing my Disney shirt. Now you can see. I got this in New York. I don't wear it because it's got a huge stain on the bottom of it and I need to clean it because I really love this shirt. 
and my husband's going to realize how, how very squirrely I can get very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Girl. Yeah. And it's a Disney thing. That can go in. Never mind. I am not saying that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm saving that for another day. <laughs> This is going to be a really fun series. I hope you guys really like this. Um, like, subscribe. Thumbs all up. That stuff, thumbs up. <laughs> share it. Share it with your peoples, especially all you Disney eggs. I can name four of you, but I'm not going to. But you guys know exactly what I'm talking about because I called you out on Facebook this morning. So, yeah, this morning. I totally did that. What is that? Oh, uh, the gas thing. Never mind. I'm <laughs> like, what is that thing over there? Totally. Squirrel. Okay, it's been a long day. I need to go eat. Maybe Jimmy will go get us pizza. Maybe. <laughs> By the way, notice my hair is not gray anymore. It's back to being purple. Yeah, I stayed up till midnight to take care of this last night. I'm also very tired, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> and he's tickling me. He, you, you guys just watch. Everybody thinks Jimmy's so quiet and he's so sweet and innocent. Except I'm, I gave him a bloody nose last Saturday. Last Saturday. He was tickling me. So it was his own fault. I'm not responsible for your injuries whenever you get tickled. I'm leaving now. Because the next video is only going to have to be six minutes. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Jimmy, say bye. Bye.